Hi everyone, I'm Chrissy. <laughs> and I'm Scuff. Yeah! <laughs> now you might be wondering why on earth we're all dressed up like this. Why well, I was dressed up like that. Well, we just got back from spending some time with the former Deputy Prime Minister of Australia on a farm. Yeah! <laughs> Check this out. Jesus said I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for the sheep Yeah, Jesus said I am the good shepherd I lay down my life for the sheep I'll give you one! Oh, that was fun! It sure was. yeah Now, the reason we went out to the farm was because today we are going to be looking at some words that Jesus spoke. Oh, no, no, we went to the farm to, oh, to learn to crack a whip. Uh, oh, 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 oh. uh not quite. <laughs> I think I might need a bit more practice. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> but no, we actually went to the farm because today we are looking at some awesome words that Jesus spoke. Really? What, what, what words? Well, in the Bible, yeah. in the book of John, yeah. chapter 10, yeah. we read these awesome words. Okay. Jesus said, yeah. I am the good shepherd. Mm. I lay down my life for the sheep. Oh, so Jesus is a good shepherd yeah. who lays down his life for the sheep? Yep. Man, they are awesome words. Yeah, they are. I mean, you could even say they are spectacular words. Well, I mean, yeah. you could just like say, whoa, what uh, words? Okay. The only problem is. What? I've got no idea what they mean. Wait, Scruff, you don't get it? No. Nope. Not at all. Well, Jesus says that he is the good shepherd. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just stop there. What? A, a good shepherd? Yeah. What, what on earth is a good shepherd? Wait. Oh, wait. Is it like a dog? Like a German shepherd? Well, a, a good German shepherd? No, Scruff. No? How about we watch this clip to help us see what a good shepherd is like? Okay. Daytime in the paddock. An ordinary flock of sheep chew unsuspectingly on their fresh green grass. <laughs> See them eat, see them drink, hear them bah. And lovingly overseeing them all is this swell guy, the shepherd. He's a really, really good shepherd. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good being a sheep. Hey! Yeah, it's not bad. Uh. But look, what's this? Uh. How do you do, fellow sheep? Uh, hi? Yeah, nice to eat you. Yeah, huh. Wait, don't you mean nice to meet you? Yes, we do mean meat. <laughs> Fresh meat. <laughs> 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 Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys! <laughs> Stop! Huh? 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 What? What? <laughs> Who are you? I am... The Good Shepherd! The Good Shepherd? The Good Shepherd! Huh? <laughs> 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 That's right. And I lay down my life for the sheep. <laughs> Stop, stop. 
Surprise! <laughs> 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 This Easter, meet the Good Shepherd, who is willing to lay down his life for the sheep. Gruff, you okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was so cool. What an awesome Good Shepherd. Oh, good. Do you now understand what a Good Shepherd is? Yeah, 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 yeah. A Good Shepherd is powerful. And he biffs the bad guys away. Well, yeah, a Good Shepherd is powerful. And... He cares for his sheep. Hey, you've got it. Yeah. So now that you know what a good shepherd yeah. is, do you understand what Jesus means when he says that he is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep? Oh, I totally get it. Great. Yeah, Jesus uses his power yes. to care yes. for sheep. Yes. Uh, yes. Wait, wait, no, no well, scruff. No. Jesus doesn't use his power to care for sheep. He uses his power to care for people. But he says sheep. Graf, he was using a metaphor. Uh, a meta, a meta, a meta what, what, what? <laughs> Okay, look, here, I've got a picture of my kids. Right, all right, so, so they're a metaphor. No, a metaphor is a figure of speech. These are my kids. All oh, right. Oh, boy, they're cute. Oh, they are. They must take after their dad. <laughs> hey. But anyway, I care for my kids. Yeah. And if they need something, yeah. I will do all that's within my power to give it to them. Of course. And if someone tried to hurt oh, them. Oh, you'd biff them. Well, I would use all my power to protect them. Oh, nice. Well, like I use my power to care yeah. for my kids, yeah. that's how the good shepherd uses his power to care for his oh, sheep. Yeah. And that is oh, how... That that's how Jesus cares for his people. Exactly. Yeah. When Jesus says that he is the good shepherd who yeah. lays down his life for his sheep, yeah. he is saying that he is powerful <gasps> and he cares for his people. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, but, but how? How what? How? How does Jesus show that he's powerful and he cares? I mean, he can't just say it, can he? He's got to do something to show he's powerful and he cares. Well, yeah, remember, that's what we asked former Deputy Prime Minister John Anderson when we sat down at the farm and interviewed him. We did? <laughs> yes, we did. Let's watch that now. OK. Hi, everyone. Chrissy here. Oh, and Scruff. And we're here with former Deputy Prime Minister of Australia, John Anderson. Hello, Chrissy. Should we call you Your Lordship? Or, or Your Highness? Or, or Sir John? Ha! Or Mr. Anderson? Scruff, just for you. You can call me John. Hey, so, so, John, uh, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm married to Julia and I have four children and five grandchildren what? and a what? farm and... For about six years, I was the Deputy Prime Minister of Australia. What did you do as Deputy Prime Minister? Well, we tried to make good laws for Australia and we tried to make certain that Australia was a fair place. Now, we are out here on a farm because you are a farmer, John. I would love to know what you think of Jesus' words in the Bible where he says that he is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. What do you think Jesus means by those words? Well, he doesn't mean that he's a shepherd because a shepherd's someone who looks after sheep with animals with four legs that Scruff likes to chase. Yeah, they are fun. And he doesn't mean that the sheep are those animals. He means actually that he's a good and loving God who wants to look after his people. The sheep are actually his people. But what's this laying down his life thing? Is it like Jesus is really tired and wants to go to bed to have a lay down? Uh, no. The Bible tells us that Jesus is God and he came to earth in human form to die for us on a cross to take the punishment that we deserve because we've gone our own way and made a mess of things. So that's him, him laying down his life, is, is him dying for people. Yes. Well, John, Jesus dying for people certainly sounds caring. Yeah. But it doesn't sound very powerful. No. I mean, I mean Jesus, he took on, the, on that enemy of death, but he lost. Well, he didn't lose because he rose again. What's that mean? It means that after three days, yeah. when he died, after three days, he rose again. It's called the resurrection. Wow. So Jesus is powerful. 
He's caring. He died for us, but then he came back to life. That is incredible. So, John, what difference does it make to have Jesus as your good shepherd? I really believe that even though bad things happen, even though there are times when I'm sad, even though there are times when I know I've done the wrong thing, in the end, Jesus is going to restore me to a relationship with himself and with God and with other people. Well, thank you, Mr John Anderson. Yes, it's been a pleasure. Thank you, Chrissy. It's been lovely. I think I've enjoyed talking to Scruff as well. Oh, thank you. Hey, can, can, we, can we go chase some sheepies now? Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Oh, that was a cool interview. Yeah, it was. I mean, I can't believe I couldn't remember being involved. But I think that's because chasing sheep was a whole lot more fun. <laughs> yeah, but, but did it help answer your question, how did Jesus show that he was powerful and caring? Yeah, 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 yeah. Easter. Easter is the answer. Exactly. The Bible says that when Jesus died on the cross yeah. and then came back to life yeah. again, he was showing his power and his care. Yeah, because he was laying down his life for the sheep. Exactly. Jesus laid down and took back up his life for his people. Oh, so cool. Yeah, and the awesome news of the Bible is that anyone can <gasps> be one of Jesus' people. Really? Yeah, really. The Bible says that everyone who trusts Jesus yeah. is one of his people. Everyone? Everyone. Oh. So whether you have someone who cares for you, like I care for my kids, yeah. or whether you're not sure that you have anyone who cares for you like that. Yeah. The Bible says that anyone who trusts Jesus, <gasps> will they become one of his people? <laughs> one of his sheep. <laughs> one of his sheep. And so we can know that Jesus, the all-powerful one, cares for us. Oh, awesome. And, it is. and now how about we all stand oh, yeah. up and rock out to this awesome song reminding us that Jesus is the good shepherd who lays down his life for the sheep. Yeehaw! See you next time. See ya. Bye. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. I lay down my life for the sheep. Jesus said, I am. You should call me Sir Scruff. Oh, Sir Scruff. Sir Scruff. <laughs> oh, you're good at this, Cody. I <laughs> think What sort of animals might attack a sheep, do you think? Uh, a hippopotamus. <laughs> Scout. That's it. I'm joining the other actors and I'm quitting. <laughs> you grab a rubber chicken and you whack someone. Did you ever whack John Howard? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> the good shit. He's got it. When? Sorry. <laughs> exactly. You always miss this line. The telly from this bulb. <laughs> <laughs> that is disgusting! <laughs>